Oh man, that's tough. I'd like to get the zero point reactor, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab Sentinel Point Defense. Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Community Empire's Let's Play of Stellaris. So I normally say let's continue where we left off, but that's simply not the case in this episode, because we're not. Uh, what I decided to do in between episodes is go forward, uh, you know, quite a bit, like, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 years or something like that. And the reason I chose to do that is because I felt like um, I was just in a pure building mode, and I wanted to get my core colonies more developed, um, and I what I really focused on, though, was military development. And I'm glad that I did, because here's our current situation. We've got the um, Crojan Imperium, who obviously hate us, and they're hostile. I, I, I am anticipating them. They've already closed their borders. They've rivaled us. I mean, we're, we're going to go to war with them. It's going to happen. And they're pretty scary, like quite scary, actually. They've got a fleet that I know, the fleets that I know of, they've got, let's see, almost a 9,000 main fleet and then a secondary fleet of 6,000. That's just the ones that I know of. Construction. And they're still building. Ships uh, now, it says that our our fleet is equivalent to them, which, okay, if that's the case. Now, I have two fleets, primarily. Got one that's 8,600 that I just got done upgrading. And then I've got one at the other end of the Empire that's just been done being upgraded, and it is 2,800, as you can see here. So that's what we've got. Now, what I did, um, and I had mentioned this in the last episode, is I militar militarized the hell out of Andak. And when I mean the hell out of it, look at all of these defense platforms. And I do now have... Um, What's it? Uh, fortress tech. Yes. So we can build a fortress, but unfortunately kind of broke at the moment. So we can't. So um, when this colony gets done, I decided to get this world right here. Alfhard is an arid world. So we're grabbing that, which I, ironically, I had planned to be a mineral world because it has a lot of mineral... Uh, deposits on the surface, and then now I realize, oh, but it's mineral poor. Uh, okay, well, maybe we'll just make this like a science planet or something. Um, in any case, uh, hopefully that'll fix our economy. Uh, I actually had really, really good mineral, um, uh, like per cycle, it was up over 200 at one point, but between ship maintenance and other maintenance, it's kind of gotten eaten up. It's still healthy. Um, money is a, a little bit of an issue, but we have a fleet plus defense platforms that I think can hold the enemy. That And that was sort of my thing, is I didn't want to get caught off guard. I've, I've had that happen to me and like end uh, a series, so I didn't want that to happen, so I've done everything I can to prevent them from just steamrolling us. But this is about as much as I can manage. I mean, I've been building ships nonstop until this point, um, and, and at several points bankrupting pretty much the Empire just to build that one more ship. And I've upgraded them all along the way. Uh, so there's just really not a whole lot more I can do with that. And part of me says we should... Oh, our leader died. All right. Hold on. Hold that thought. We'll come back to that in a second. Monthly influ influence. Science ship, blah, blah, blah. Monthly influence and minerals. Hey, that's pretty good. That's not bad either. Def defense platform cost and maintenance reduction. That's pretty good, actually. Plus one leader skill. Hmm, where's that one back up here that had influence and minerals? Yeah, let's support this guy. All right, so he should win. Current research projects, advanced shields. We currently have level three shields, so this would be four, I guess. 
uh, Biolab 2, and Armored Torpedoes. And all of our weapon systems have been shifted over to Torpedoes. Complete. Construction complete. Go ahead and clear that. Upgrade this. Why can't you upgrade? Oh, you need a planetary capital. So all in all, we're not in bad shape. It's just, again, I'm a little bit worried about us us going to war, because I, I see that happening sooner rather than later. Is this in our space? No, it's not. And this is sort of the, the whole linchpin at this point. If if it gets pulled, so to speak, and we lose, then I don't see how we recover from that. I mean, I guess I could negotiate some kind of surrender and give up a little territory. Maybe I could make that happen, but uh, that would then put us on the back foot, right? Which we don't want, obviously. Situation log updated. Okay, new leader elected. Good deal. I'll just sit right there on the point in. Grab that guy. Let's go ahead and speed things back up. Colony established. System survey complete. Oh, over here, right. Research complete. Second planet in the same system. Okay, research is complete. Oh, so we could go for Ingos Refinery. Which, by the way, if you haven't read up about it at all, the uh, the pending update, uh, which I guess is going to be, what, 1.3, 1.4, whatever it is, uh, they're going to change the way all the global resources work. So some of it I agree with it, some of it I don't. Like, for instance, the, a resource like this, this vapor would be like a shared global resource. Uh, that you could utilize, I like that. But then other things like, for instance, space coal is going to become like a local resource, and you're actually have to build the building for it on the resource itself, like on the planet surface screen. So I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Leader capacity. Yeah. That's fine. Why aren't these constructor ships doing stuff? Where are you at? Surely you could be doing something. Yeah, there you go. Observation post, mining, mining. Okay, 
You're scanning. All right, good. Everybody's working on something. Guess I should get this tropical world over here. 70% habitability and it's size 25. There's really no reason not to settle it. Let's go ahead and grab another colony ship here in a moment. Scientist leveled up. Colony established. We'll just give that to the sector. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy that. We have extra governors laying around. No, we do not. You're set on research, research, research focus already. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I should try to get these guys to attack me. I mean, I could insult them. Because it would... It would be beneficial if they attacked me, right? Versus me trying to go and take their worlds. Like if they came here to fight. Which is realistically the only place they can fight. They can't get around the other way. System survey complete. Because I have good relation I have a good relationship with these guys. Yep. So they're not gonna get through their territory, I don't think. I guess in theory they could try, I just don't see it happening. Can I send these ships down here to join up? Yeah, I can. I can still make it around. It's just a long trip. Alright, so we've got upgrades. Oh, we need to do a bunch on this planet. Okay, alright. We need a power hub on this planet, but we don't have that tech. How's food here? It's okay. Clear that. Clear that. Search complete. Research is complete, okay. Precognitive interface. Oh, look at that. Plus four to hit, plus eight percent rate of fire. Plus to damage, plus to weapon range, plus to evade. Wow. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Gonna take us a little while to get it, but that's pretty amazing. Now, maybe we don't want to go to war. Maybe we want to wait until we've got a tech advantage.
Do some more upgrades. Research complete. Construction complete. Oh, I thought they were rivaling us for a second. I was like, no! Not the Shimmars! No! But it's not us, so that's good. Okay, what do we got here? How's your food situation? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put in some hydroponics here. Oh, what's done? Advanced shields. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, man, that's tough. I'd like to get the zero-point reactor, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab Sentinel Point Defense. Yeah. So I have some bigger ships now, and I need to put some point defense on them. So they don't just get eaten alive by missile tech. So obviously they can't evade, right? Research complete. Armor torpedoes is done. Okay. Oh, military station tech, huh? Hmm. Or devastator torpedoes. Well, the rare tech will stay. Let's let's grab the Devastators. Transports and they're consolidating their stuff, so yeah, they might be coming our way soon. See, they've got man, so they've got like 14, 15,000. We've got eight plus some support. It's not good odds for us, really, truth be told. And how much is. Well, I'd have to build it first. Let me go ahead and put together a fortress, and we'll swap out some of these. New design. Fortress. Well, actually, we should wait until we have Sentinel Point Defense. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait. A light seen moving in the night sky, Mithlar, a gentle arc standing in the stark contrast, the slow revolution of the stars. Okay. Plus 10 happiness for 12 months. Hey, we'll take it. I need to take this world as well. Need to clear this out. Pull the fleet off the front line for a minute? Uh. <laughs> it might not be the best. That might not be the best thing to do. Let's get that tropical world. Oh, we don't have col right. Dang it, I don't have colonization for that. <sighs> well, is there anything else around here we can colonize? I'm not gonna send it all the way down here. That would be kind of silly. 
Should have kept the fleet, that smaller fleet, up here. Where are you guys? You're already, like, really far away. Yeah, you're almost there. Okay, well, I'll let you go then. Sweeping change in the ways primitive, you thought the ends begin aggressively observing members of their species. Okay. Anything for you to do, Mr. Science Ship? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, I guess we'll go park you right over here. Oh, we, yeah, we have battleships now, too. I need to get rid of that other design. Where are you at? So here's the battleship. It's pretty impressive, actually. Oh, I knew it. 